We recommend at this point that you recheck the internal dimensions, width and projection, and check the measurements across the internal corners, which should be the same. Silicone seal the gaps between the front of the eaves beam external trim, P6024, and the front of the windows to create a watertight seal. Position the eaves beam centrally on top of the windows. The inside face of the overhang will sit against the front face of the panels, and the end of the eaves beam will be flush with the outer face of the side panels. The eaves beam pieces will also require joining at the corners. They're joined by using two eaves beam joiners which slot together and slide into the channels on the inside of the eaves beam. Apply a bead of silicone to the cut faces of the eaves beam prior to joining. Fix the eaves beam joiners into position with the 38mm silver screws through the pre-drilled holes. Once assembled on top of the panels, drill through the eaves beam only using a long reach 5mm drill 100mm from the edge of each window. The first holes from the end of the eaves beam should be at 100mm to ensure it's fastened into the window. Power drive the fixing screws through the holes in the eaves beam and into the head of the window. Gable frame. Apply a bead of silicone along the gable frame adapter. If the gable frame is already glazed, remove beads and glass from gable frame, taking note of where each bead and glass unit goes. Place the gable frame onto the gable frame adapter ensuring the external face of the gable frame is in line with the V-groove on the gable adapter. Pre-drill through the gable frame and into the eaves beam. Using silicone to seal the holes, secure onto the eaves beam using the 4.8 by 60 mm screws at 450 mm intervals. Ridge installation. Mark the host wall with the dimension from the top of the windows to the internal ridge. Fix a wood block at least 50 mm deep to the host wall, with the top face set at the internal ridge height. It will support the ridge assembly whilst you erect the rest of the roof. Do not remove it until the roof is assembled. Lift the ridge assembly and rest the rear face on top of the wooden block and the front face into the recess at the top of the gable frames so that they are in line. To identify the glazing bar positions for your conservatory, refer to your diagram. The glazing bars can then be counted anti-clockwise around the layout. Run a bead of silicone along the top faces of the gable frame. Start the ridge assembly by attaching the starter bars over the single bolt retainers in the eaves beam. Drill through the starter bars into the top of the gable frame and secure Main Spars Installation The main spars are the bars that attach to the ridge. When starting to fit the bars, work anti-clockwise. Remove the protective film from the spar undercladding, slot the spar holes over the M5 by 25mm bolts in the double retainers located in the ridge. Do the same for the holes at the bottom of the spar, which connects to the M5 by 25mm bolts in the double retainers located in the eaves beam. Loosely thread on the M5 locking nuts. Repeat for all bars that connect to the same side of the ridge. Check spar position before tightening the M5 locking nuts. See your roof plan. If all checks have been performed, it's now possible to permanently fix the wall bar to the host wall. Drill and fix the wall bars using fixings positioned 150mm from each end and no more than 600mm apart, avoiding mortar beds. Some fixings shown in this DVD are for studio build only. Please refer to your installation guide for the correct fixings required.